by researcher and technician Donald Finnegan in London. Donald, thank you for taking the time to speak to us. How is it even possible that a smartphone can explode? Good afternoon. It's a, it's a very good question. I mean, the, um, often the limiting technology in, in smartphones is the lithium-ion battery. Uh, it takes up the most volume inside these devices. And because of that, manufacturers try to push as much energy as they possibly can into these uh, devices. So modern lithium-ion batteries within smartphones are incredibly energy dense. And so if when things do go wrong, um, they can happen in a particularly catastrophic way. Now, I should, I should emphasize that this is a, it's an exceedingly rare event. And um, I think it comes as a surprise to everybody that this has happened to Samsung, which have a reputation of being a very reliable and high performance product manufacturer. Donald, as you say, this is rare, but Samsung has told Galaxy Note 7 owners to stop using their phones across the board. Isn't that a bit dramatic? Would someone know when a smartphone's about to explode? What are the signs? Yeah, well, Samsung appeared to have a manufacturing defect. Um, so from what I understand of the battery failures, the lithium-ion batteries that are within the phones are being compressed under too high of a pressure. Um, and because of this, an internal short circuit can occur and this causes the temperature of the battery to rise very quickly. And so um, when the temperature starts to rise, it can, this, the highly energy dense materials inside the battery can then break down, generating more heat and causing a fire. Uh, Donald, uh, for the moment now, we're just hearing about this problem with Galaxy Note 7s, but many people, including here in our own newsroom, are concerned. Many people have Samsungs like this one. Uh, should owners of other types of Samsung phones be worried? Well, the official report hasn't come out yet from the, the cause of the failure from Samsung, but um, I believe that it is a, a device-specific uh, failure. So the pressure that's applied to the batteries is perhaps due to the casing of the specific uh, Samsung Note 7. So any, any consumers of um, other Samsung products, I, I would have no doubt that they still adhere to the high safety standards that Samsung is usually renowned for. All right, Donald, thank you very much for that. That's Donald Finnegan speaking to us there from London. Well,